Hi, welcome to 3 Minute Man. I hope you're doing well today. Our reading this morning comes from Exodus chapter 7. In Exodus 7 at verses 4 and 5, we have the account of right before the plagues are going to start upon Egypt, and you have the Lord speaking to Moses. In verse 4 he says, But Pharaoh will not heed you, so that I may lay my hand on Egypt and bring my armies and my people, the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt by great judgments. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I stretch out my hand on Egypt and bring out the children of Israel from among them. The Egyptians shall know. All through Scripture you see that same thing happening repeatedly. In the days of Noah, when the world was given over to wickedness, even though they were given over to wickedness, there would come a time when they would know the power of the Lord. In uh, just a few chapters after that, as the builders were building the Tower of Babel wanting to make a name for themselves, there would come a time where those proud men and women, that they would know the power of the Lord and they would know that they needed to obey God, and that they should have obeyed God. In the example of, of Lot and Sodom and Gomorrah, as righteous Lot, as his soul was vexed with the wickedness that, that was all around him, in Sodom and Gomorrah there would come a time when those folks would know that the Lord was indeed Jehovah, that they would know the Lord God. And they would have to respect His power, and they would fear His power. Unfortunately for them, it was too late. But you see that theme throughout Scripture. Now the point is, is that in this land that we live in, in this world that we live in, when it seems like the world is becoming more and more wicked all around us, and it seems like more and more people have absolutely no use for God and are denying God and they worship the idols of today there will come a time when they will know the Lord in 2nd Peter chapter 3 2nd Peter 3 at verse 10 it says but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise and the elements will melt with fervent heat both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up Therefore, since all these things will be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in holy conduct and godliness? They will know. The Egyptians will know. The unbelievers will know. The atheists, the idolaters, the ungodly, they shall know the Lord as the Lord brings them and makes them give an account of themselves. Every knee shall bow and every man will give an account of himself what he has done in the body. And it, may, it, it will be the first time for many folks, the first time that they have ever obeyed the Lord. But they will obey the Lord when the Lord says, Depart from me, I never knew you. And they will, they will leave. They will respect the Lord's authority. Of course, it will be too late at that point. What we have to do is, as the verse says, we need to be conducting ourselves uh, in a holy manner in godliness following the Lord, knowing that, yes, there will come a time when the Egyptians shall know the power of the Lord, but for them it will be too late. What we have to do, what we have to do is we have to follow the Lord today while it is called today. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed this study. I hope you're a blessing to someone else today. Thank you for studying with us. We hope to see you tomorrow morning.